Hi guys, Roberta Montagnini here and in today's tutorial I will be teaching you how to fix a blurred eye. So this picture here is of a friend of mine I took last year, November 2016. I absolutely love this picture. I think it has a lot of emotion, I think it's great. Unfortunately, when I got the picture uh, closed, when I saw it on the computer, I realized the eyes were out of focus. I was practicing a few things here and I managed to fix it and I just was very excited to show you how to do it. So first you need to have another picture, um, preferably of the same person, with the eyes in focus. So I have this picture here of my friend and you can see here her eyes are very detailed and they are very nice. So I recommend you to find a picture that it's quite large as well so you can crop so it's you need to have a picture of same, similar dimensions because if your blurred picture is very big and your sharp image like this one is not as big you're gonna have a trouble with it so you need to have a picture that you can see the detail of her eyes like this so what I will do here I will use a technique called frequency separation so with command J on a Mac I will duplicate my background layer twice. So I'll create one copy and another copy. I'll name the first the layer up on the at the top texture. And the layer below that I will name it blur. I will go ahead and I will uh, make the texture, uh, I will hide the texture layer by clicking on the eye here. And I will work on the blur layer now. So with the blur layer uh, click selected, you will go to filter and you go to blur and then you go to Gaussian blur here okay so for this image uh, you need uh, how do you define how much blur the image needs so putting one it's not really working so if you see her pores right here they are quite open so as soon as those pores it start to smooth out and disappear that's when you want uh, to hit you know your image to be like so I'll see like four looks like maybe five I think five for this image is great so it really depends on your image you might not need as much blur as I did you might need more blur um, so just make sure as soon as the texture on your image start to diffuse disappear then you should be good then I click OK and now I will click, I will make my texture layer visible and I'll click on it. I will go to image, apply image and on the apply image here uh, on the panel I will have to select the blur background here and on the blending mode I will select subtract. Here you need to make sure the scale is set to 2 and the offset is set to 128. Don't ask me why, but this is the numbers you should be you should have. Someone came up with those numbers and these numbers are universal. Uh, you should have those numbers for any picture set like that, 2 and 128. Now click OK. And with my texture layer selected, I will select the linear light so you can see the image. See, it works fine, the image is sharp. So now I will revert the image to normal and I will select an area of the image which are the eyes, where you can see here the eye, both eyes. So yeah, I have both eyes selected. Make sure the texture is selected and you will copy that layer here on edit and copy or command C. Now I will go back to my other file which is the blurred image here and you can see the blurred image. I will paste that image I just copied above it so I go to edit and paste or command C. Then here you can see the image. Now, do you see the eyes are smaller than the current eyes? So what you have to do, you will have to increase that layer. Because it's not too much, um, too, the difference is not you know, too much, it's okay. So make sure the eyes are relatively uh, similar. 
I think about here pretty much the same. What you can do, what you can do, you can make that layer, this layer, I will call it texture again here. And we will make the opacity to 50. So when I place it above the re her eyes here, I can see if the shadow might, and I think it's perfect. Okay, so with this selected, I will now create a mask, a layer mask on the texture. And I'll bring the opacity to 100. Okay. Now, selecting the lay the texture layer, make sure you are, uh, you select the image here on the side because you have two files now. You have the the mask and the layer. Make sure you select the layer and you go to normal and you go to linear light. So now you have the image here. You know you can see the image better. So now I'll just place. I'll just control. I'll just place the the eye. Try to place the eye on top of the other eye. You can see already here the image is sharp. You see the, the difference with the eyes? Good. Um, now back on the layer, select the layer mask, that white thing there, and you select the brush tool and you will use maybe you know a little bit bigger maybe maybe 100 for this one and make sure the hardness is set to zero okay what I'm gonna do make sure the color here is black because what I'm doing I'm gonna erase her skin um, so I just leave the eyes in focus so make sure the opacity here is 100 flow 100 so we can just start clicking and erasing that area like I, I really like the eyebrows being focused, but I don't think it's that necessary. You can, you can leave if you want to though. But I just want the eyes to be nice. Now uh, here you can see that the the other eye is not sitting on top. So what do you do? You will use the select tool where the eye is. Make sure you click on the texture layer here, but make sure you select the image on the left hand side here and then you do command J, which you are uh, duplicating a copy of, you know, that area here. So if uh, you can see the image is right here. Okay, so with the texture selected now again, you select the tool the select the select tool <laughs> select the select tool that's funny and just make sure you cover the whole area there so you can delete that eye from that layer because now you've already, you've duplicated the eye here on layer one I will call it left eye okay now the left eye you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna try to find an area where the eye would sit so I think here is pretty good just using my arrows to place it right I'm happy with the positioning I'm gonna create a layer mask I'm gonna get my brush tool making sure the color is set to black and now I'm gonna erase um, I'm gonna erase everything around me for example I don't need this I just wanna keep really the eye in focus so everything that is not the I, I will remove. This is really, really, really interesting. I was surprised because I really love this image and I was really upset that I could not fix that image. Then I had an idea. I was like, well, why don't I use frequency separation? Because frequency separation normally works against a blurred image and then you have the texture image. So I already have the blur, I just needed the texture above. So here you can see the eye, the before and after.
good. I really like it. Now, back on the texture layer, I'll name this right eye now. It doesn't need to be texture. So, right eye. Okay. It's pretty good. Now, if you see this image here that I was using, I shot this image using a flashlight. So, you can see this, this white thing in her eyes. They are flash. And on this image here, uh, I shot it, uh, you know, against the natural light. It was a bright, beautiful day, so I did not need any flash. But you can still see the white um, from the layer, from the texture layer. So now I just make sure you select the right eye. Make sure you select the layer mask. And with your uh, brush, you just make sure the, the brushes are smaller just enough to cover the the white spot of her eye and you just go zoom in close and you just remove that clicking it good and on the other one you select it you just click it's going to remove okay now if you see this one here has a little bit of shadow uh, on her eye inside you see so if you just get the burn tool you know set it to mid tones and exposure to 10 I just slightly touch it in the middle so I give makes the image of the pupil the pupil I don't even know how to pronounce it a little bit darker okay the other one's fine, doesn't need it. And that's it. See, like the image is now, now you have an eye in focus. And I'll just group this so you can see the before and after. So this is the after image with the eyes in focus. And this is the before. So after, before, after, before, after. Oh, I just received a comment here on Facebook. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you think this was useful, if it was easy to follow. If you have any suggestions, please do not hesitate to let me know. I love working with Photoshop and love sharing my knowledge. Uh, if you, for example, do this technique and would like to share, please leave a link in the comments, comments below here with a link to your blog post. I'd love to see it. And that's it. I hope I can see you guys next time. Take care and don't forget to subscribe if you like it. Mwah! Kiss, kiss, kiss. Bye bye.